Um, so, as you said, my name is Taylor. Uh, real quick, if you um, happen to have a pair of ear, uh, earbuds or headphones handy, I'd recommend using those instead of your computer speakers. Um, so, I am not a video game maker. Uh, I actually just graduated from law school, um, but I'm a, I am a composer and I've been looking for opportunities to write for video games. Um, so, someone pointed me to IGDA and I decided I'd share something I've written. So, uh, tonight I'm going to just share a piece of music that I finished writing. Thanks, that I finished writing for uh, orchestra. Um, just brief background, it's based on a children's story that my wife and I made for our two nephews. So it's like, it was like, okay, if I could write a film score for this game, this is what it would be. Um, so both there are, throughout the music you'll see, there are two major themes, one for each of my nephews, and they go over top of each other. Um, so what I'll show is a video that has the audio file playing underneath and then the orchestral score moving along with it. Um, just brief note on the sound quality. This is the, the MP3 file is that which my um, notation software spat out, which is actually pretty darn good. Um, but if I were to try and like publish this or use it in the game, I'd you know, obviously shell out a chunk of cash to have it professionally mixed. Um, but until then, I'm saving my pennies. So with that, uh, let's get going. If you, um, if, if you can't hear anything within like three seconds of me start uh, hitting play, um, just let me know. It is going to start um, kind of quiet.
yeah, I am going to concur with what Rob said. The the technical issues were very much worth it. That is absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for sharing that. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Glad you liked it. Yeah, no problem. Um, really quickly, I know we had a couple of new attendees who, who joined us. I just want to say, if you all want to ask questions, um, we're going to take a few minutes for, for Taylor to get some questions. Uh, us on the panel, unfortunately, can't um, use the, the Q&A, uh, can't use Q&A. So for those of you who are in attendance, we there's a great Q&A function. Please be sure to use that. We want to hear from uh, from the audience. Um, I do have a quick question. Uh, Rob queued up a, a few questions that we'll get to as well. I kind of want to take his first question and combine it with one of my questions, where he asked, uh, where and when did you learn to compose, which I, I had wrote down, um, you had mentioned, you know, you uh, started as a law, you know, it, you know, in law. Um, and you're not just, you know, going from from composing music, but to game composition, I'm curious about the change. So when did you learn to, to compose and um, why the pivot from law to, to game composition? Yeah, so as to the when, I, I usually tell people I started to compose when I was 11, and around the time I was, I was 18, it sort of started to sound kind of good. Um, so that was, that was it, um, and mostly just, you know, learning basic theory, listening to a lot of music, figuring out what I like. Um, so not so much. I, I had a, uh, an instructor or two here and there, um, and then studied music in college. That helped. Um, but as to why the pivot, um, so it's not much of a pivot for me, I guess, because um, I haven't, like, I don't, I don't do this professionally. Um, I just really enjoy composing, um, and I'm going to continue to do it, and um, I have, I met a local composer recently who writes for video games mostly, um, and I've always wanted to be able to write for some sort of media, but um, decided to go career-wise toward law instead, um, but this continues to be a thing I'm doing so um you know writing for video games would be one of the most interesting applications of writing for music so um it's just only recently i'm like i should actually start trying to find some opportunities awesome very cool yeah um scott uh from the panel had said uh it sounds beautiful and you are very talented what software do you use and i was curious about the software too and if you're on a windows or mac because i know a lot of audio people are 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 mac but i didn't recognize the the software I use Finale. Um, Finale and Sibelius are the main two that composers will use. And um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, very cool. Um, do, 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 going back to, to Rob's questions, are there types of games that you'd like to compose for or musical styles that you prefer to work in? Right. So for games, anything uh, with a story, like um, Preferably something that's sort of niche and untouched, like the the composer Jeremy Soul. You know, did Skyrim did a Star Wars game or two. I you know I heard him say the same thing where he got to do the the Elder Scrolls games and he also did a Star Wars game. And when you write for like a Star Wars game, it's like okay, you have this massive burden of John Williams music behind you, and you have to write within a specific uh, theme. Whereas if you've got something with you know a very um, rich story like Elder Scrolls games um, and that also has been completely untouched because it's completely new um, you get to craft um, your own sort of sound so that would be that's kind of general I guess but that's that would be um, my ideal and then for like interest or um, instruments and genres writing for orchestra is of course awesome just because of sheer uh, power behind it um, and but I, I enjoy writing for I guess sort of unconventional ensembles where I sort of build from the ground up. Um, uh, so there's a lot of the game music that I like, um, for example, comes from Sonic the Hedgehog, where it's like very rock band-ish and then has like a lot of electronic stuff in it, um, where, you know, Jun Sanui, who did a lot of it, is just like, I think this works, rather than starting with like, we are going to use the orchestra because that's kind of the standard thing. Um, so orchestra, but it'd be, but um, in circum if circumstances permitted, you know, building an ensemble from the ground up to figure out what worked in a specific niche. Very cool. Um, and to, to this specific piece, um, you had mentioned um, that this was for a story uh, for your nephews. And if this is like tied to a, a more, 
is this tied to a more full project that is being worked on at all? Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm writing music as though I were writing a film score to this book. Um, so this is the, the, this music would go with the introduction in the first couple pages. Um, so I'm currently in the works. I'm about, I don't know, a minute and a half into the next scene in the book, I guess. Um, we'll see how long it takes me to finish, but yes, it's part of a greater project. That's very nice. Cool. Um, and another one from, from Rob, I'm also curious about this. Did you, uh, have you ever worked with doing lyrics or any lyricists or have mm -hmm. done anything with musical theater in the past? I have not done anything with musical theater. Um, I've tried and just never have found an opportunity. The closest thing I did um, was actually the one major thing or one of two major things I did with lyrics for uh, in, in uh, college for studying music there in, in college for my like senior thesis. Um, I was studying in my English program at the same time, Paradise Lost. So I wrote a prog metal piece um, with lyrics based on Paradise Lost that actually worked out pretty well, despite the seeming clash there, um, and used that for my uh, senior project. So in that instance, um, stealing lyrics from a uh, you know, well-known book, uh, and then more, yes, yeah, so that's, the, that's the one time I've like actually uh, finish something like that. Nice. And I think this is a, a good uh, good question too, especially if um, we're closing out uh, for, for you is, do you have a SoundCloud or some place or some social media or some link that you can plug so people can hear more of your work? Mm -hmm. um, no, I don't. Uh, I honestly didn't know what sort of, uh, hadn't thought of what sort of thing would be appropriate to do that for. SoundCloud, SoundCloud would be the right place to upload stuff like that. Yeah, SoundCloud um, is uh, kind of the, the more current place for people who are doing it. Yeah, or I agree with Scott too that YouTube can okay. also that can also work. But SoundCloud is kind of where a lot of the independent musicians kind of like okay. share a lot of their their music and uh, their their music that they are free to share mm -hmm. um, to speak. Uh, it's a good place to like post a portfolio. And if you have a portfolio website, you know you can do an embed code from SoundCloud to put your SoundCloud stuff right on your website. So okay. it's a pretty popular choice. Yeah. Okay, well, that's why I go to things like this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, though, in lieu of that, uh, Micah asks, how can folks reach out to you since you are looking for uh, games to compose for and projects to do? Um, I can just put my email address in the chat if that works. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'll do that then. And you are on our Discord as well. Uh, and I assume, yeah. I believe you've joined, if I remember correctly, have you joined the, the Philly Game Mechanics Discord? Mm. as well yeah yeah so people, yeah. uh and i know a couple of folks who are in the chat are on that discord as well so you can also reach out um reach out to taylor there awesome well thank you so so much for sharing your piece with us it's absolutely beautiful and i look forward to hearing more about your work and keep us posted if you uh do end up on any project soon awesome. thank you so much for the opportunity yeah thank you <laughs>